Hey guys, welcome back to my 2023 makeup inventory video. We are doing complexion products and I have a quick little note that I actually have one more primer coming in the mail. So just tack that on to, it's the, um, the primer that goes with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation. It's that primer. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I, I have the Luminous Silk coming and I have that primer coming. So that's one more primer that I have um, tagged on there. So that's a bummer. <laughs> Let's move into complexion products though. I have nine. I would like to have not that many. Um, I have three concealers. I don't even like concealer. I don't even use concealer. Why do I have three of them? Um, so the one I've been trying to use up the longest is the Tarte Shape Tape. It's a tiny little sample, not a sample, it's a tiny size, but it just keeps going and going and going. And it shows no signs of running out. Um, so that's in my project pan. I'm trying to use that up. Ideally, I'd like to have one concealer. <laughs> and I have the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And this crease is not super bad, but it creases. It definitely creases. Um, it's okay. It's definitely thicker than the Shape Tape. Um, but... I like it okay. I'm trying to use that one up as well. Then I have my favorite, which is the Milk Future Fluid Fluid Fluid, sorry. Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. And this is great. I really like this product. It's a perfect match for me. And I just really like the applicator. It's oh, I almost knocked that down. It's really pointy, so you can get into around your eyes really easily. If I was to have one concealer, it would be this concealer. Um, however, I'm open to trying new concealers. Probably the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer is the next one I want to try. But I have three concealers. I'd like to get that down to one. Next up is powder foundation. And again, remind, remember I have a foundation foundation coming, um, a liquid foundation coming in the mail. So the Luminous Silk will be joining this collection. So I technically have 10 products. But I have my everyday powder foundation that I kind of just throw on my face. This is the Ulta Beauty Adjustable Coverage Foundation in Fair Neutral. And I really love this foundation, especially for everyday when I don't wear makeup and I just want to fix the base a little bit. But I have three backups after this one. So... I'm going to be using that for a while. Then I have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation and Powder. This one's almost finished. And then I have one, two, three, four. I have four backups of that. So that is not good. We need to get those gone. Um, I have one more powder foundation. This is the one size Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation Powder in Fair 4. And in the L'Oreal Infallible, I think I am vanilla. I'm vanilla. So this is the one size one. It's not a perfect match, but it's pretty close. Um, I'm trying to use that up. It is, I don't know if it's in my project pan. No, it's not. I had a different product in my product plan pan that I already used up. Um, so I wanna use this one up. I only would like to have one powder foundation option, well, two powder foundation options and one liquid foundation. So I don't want this many products. Next up is setting powder. I have three. Uh, the one is this Well People Super Power Brightening Powder that I use under my eyes. This is super great. And then I have two setting powders. My favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I have mine in One Fair. And it's the perfect setting powder. Like, I don't need to try any more. This is the perfect, this is the best one uh, for my skin. And I hope it plays well with the liquid foundation, but I love it. So keeping that, that's a great product. And then I have the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in light medium. And I also have it in light too. I have another one somewhere. Um, I think it's in my purse, but I'm trying to use this one up as well. This is kind of like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, but I think they just reformulated or reformulated it, which is a bummer. Um, but that's it. 
if I counted all of the backups, I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I would have 16 products in this category. And I would like that down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. About 6 or 7. So we got some work to do. So that was my complexion products. I'll see you back again for the next category. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I'll see you soon.